Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Design with Grimes. I am Jordan Grimes. This is a space where I talk about my design projects, perspectives, and my process as well. Uh, you can follow me and my work at J7Grimes and also my website is jordangrimes.work. So a uh, big and fun topic happening here today and the topic is going to be the Carolina Panthers. So they've recently released a alternate helmet to go into the season of coming here. And uh, I want to talk about that. That's the main topic. But also uh, a couple years back, I put together my own alternate uniform for the Panthers as well. So that's going to be the two topics today for this episode. So excited to get into this. Uh, taking one step back, uh, I did a whole video on the, the NFL lifting their one shell rule. So go ahead and check out my previous video on that. I'll have a link in the description below. But uh, basically, they lifted the one show rule. It is no more. So teams can now have accurate uh, either alternate helmets that uh, coordinate with the throwback uh, uniform they have going on or just a completely alternate uh, helmet. And so we have some examples of that already happening um, in the NFL. And so up to this point, at the time of this recording, teams that have released alternate helmets is going to be the Patriots. They're going to go with their uh, white show and pat the Patriot. Um, the Atlanta Falcons are also going to do a throwback red helmet. And, and also uh, recently, the Giants released a uh, alternate helmet, throwback helmet that's, you know, historically accurate. It's a darker shade of blue. You have the big, nice Giants logo type happening there with the red stripe down the middle. Um, so those are alternate helmets that came uh, to be so far that are, you know, accurate or if they have ties to the team. Uh, other ones that have released so far at the top here, you have the Houston Texans. They're going with a red shell, uh, same logo, uh, keeping the the navy face mask. So that's a new one for them. They're a uh, they're a newer team as well, so there's less historical ties. But that's exciting to see that they have the alternate helmet. On the bottom left, you have the the Washington Commanders in their black helmet. That's their alternate helmet. And then in the middle, the Saints have the a black alternate helmet as well with the. Uh, with the Florida Lee uh, pattern stripe happening down the middle, like what the Seahawks have going on. So uh, not shown here, but has been reported is the Eagles, and they are reported to have a black helmet coming uh, this upcoming season. No pictures or uh, mock-ups coming through for that from the team, at least. I'm sure there's a lot of people online putting that together, but I guess they're going to have a, a black helmet, probably to pair with their uh, black uniform. So that's what that's happening so far. What's nice this all scene is that this off season is that uh, every week or every other week, it seems like teams are releasing this stuff. And so exciting to keep the off season um, uh, exciting. So we'll see what happens with uh, some more teams possibly releasing alternate helmets, but the topic today, it's going to be the, the latest team, which is the Carolina Panthers. They released a, a black helmet. And so let's go through some of the photos and give some perspective and critique of what's going on here. I'll talk through the, uh, the details. So the first set of, Photos here I have focusing on the helmet itself. Obviously, it's a big part of the whole uniform and having this alt alternate helmet here. And so it's a matte black shell. And then you have uh, a matte decal that's happening as well. And then uh, they kept the black face mask. So that's happening here. Uh, what's interesting is that the team decided to do, uh, I'll call it a two-tone look. So you have uh, a dedicated blue and black theme that's happening on the helmet where they do the decals and the shell color so um in their normal logo uh the panther had they have multiple colors it's two colors with the the blue and the white uh for some of the details that are happening but they opted to go with a a, a one color logo the black and the blue and same with the stripes uh that are happening down the middle of the helmet as well you have that going on and then on the back they have these ghost slight drop shadow uh, numbers uh, on the back of the helmets. That's an interesting detail that I have not seen the Panthers do. So uh, I wonder if, uh, since they are a team that has not changed their uniform at all, for the most part, since they came into the league, um, they might be hinting at some possible uniform changes online with this drop shadow number treatment that's happening. I'm not sure. Um, but so that is that detail. Uh, critique and things that are going on with this from my perspective is that I think it looks just overall I think it looks good I think there's some room for improvement and just things that uh, I, I'll get into when I look at the pairing of the helmet and the possible jersey and, and pants and all that kind of stuff so uh, these are the details of the of the helmet here are some more shots looking at uh, different angles and all that of the same things we were just talking about 
panther head is pretty big and um you have this shade not shading but the it's an interesting uh interesting attempt at the decal so there are decals where you can have clear so you can see the helmet shell through it but they opted to go with um a true decal where you have color on color and um, you have the black and the blue happening and it'll be interesting interesting to see on game day what the actual uh, panther head decal looks like in the, the natural light in terms of like if it looks off or if it looks good and, and all these things they could have gone clear uh, but they opted to go with actual color on color so we'll see how that all uh, comes together here we start to see more of how the the helmet will actually be paired with the the whole uniform below so jersey and the pants and the socks and and all those things happening. Obviously, they're going to go with uh, the their black uniform, and so they have a traditional home uh, blue, and then they have the white away, and then uh, even the um, different color pants and other stuff. But they have this one that they break out a couple times a year. And if I'm not mistaken, this uniform or at least this helmet will be brought out at least once this year. Um, I believe it's in the middle of the season, and so. Uh, what's interesting is the NFL actually has ruled on how team, how many times a team can wear alternate uniforms and things like that. So I'm wondering if they're going to take the same approach with alternate helmets. If you can only wear it uh, up to, you know, once, twice, maybe three times a year. The whole reason why they put in, or supposedly, the whole reason why they had that one shell rule to begin with, only uh, limiting to one helmet uh, per a team for the whole year, is that for safety reasons. And... Uh, bringing in a second helmet, uh, having to break it in and, and get the player used to it, and those things go through the rigors of a game. Uh, there's a higher chance of uh, safety concerns around around having a second helmet, and so I wonder if to curb that or to stay true to that, they'll also limit how many times uh, a team can wear their uh, alternate helmets that we've seen so far. But getting back to the the details of of the helmet and the whole uniform here. Kind of getting back to the two-tone look of the helmet, you have the blue and the black theme. Like, that's true. There's no white in terms of the decals and, and those things. It's just blue and uh, black. But when you actually look at the uniform here, you still have the same details. And sure, the Panthers cannot just wholesale change their uh, jersey top and all those kinds of things. Um, they can, but they haven't um, done that. So if you're looking at the Panther on the, the left side in the middle picture here, you have it on the left side of the helmet and the, the shoulder pads there. Um, it's the two different versions of the logo where you have the more monochromatic one up top and then the full color uh, one happening on the actual jersey itself. And so the, the contrast there kind of gets me. Again, we'll kind of see how it looks on game day, but um, it's probably going to irk me just for consistency sake of having that. And they're almost like the same size, more or less. And so we'll kind of see how it all plays out on the field. Um, but again, uh, coming back to my comment earlier, I kind of think maybe the, the Panthers might be hinting at and testing out uh, ways that they can update their jerseys and be more, their uniform as a whole, um, and be more uh, direct on and simple in their approach on color and these things. Maybe they go with more of a black and blue uh, theme for jerseys and stuff down the line. Here's some great poses. <laughs> by the linebacker burns here <laughs> um uh, looking like a panther himself and so again great shots here just showing the contrast of the helmet in terms of the black and blue against the the uniform here but i think just head to toe having the black theme uh really works for for the team i think if there are just one or two pops of white or, or silver even happening in the in the helmet i think that would bring this whole thing to a, a better uh, composition as a whole here I think this is the last set of photos here. Again, more of the same good detail shots of how the helmets look at different angles, the front, the side, and um, some of these uh, three-quarter views as well. So that's a quick recap. I'll have a full recap at the end of this here for my thoughts and everything. But that's the recap of the Panthers having a black helmet and some of the details around that. Uh, a couple years back, like I was saying before, um, I think that the Panthers have one of the best color schemes uh, in the league. So I put together my own concept that started with the helmet and it moved more so into a whole uniform refresh. And so uh, the idea here is that the team colors are great. You have the blue, black, silver, and some white as well. Why not lean into that a little bit more? And looking at the current helmet that they have, 
They have a, a silver flake helmet shell with the black mask and uh, the black, blue, and silver and white uh, decal happening on the side of it, on the side of the helmet. What I would like to see is the the shell color update to that gorgeous blue color that they have. Keep the black face mask and then have a new stripe uh, detail happening down the middle. I call it a uh, a whisker uh, stripe happening. Right now it's like a, a fang almost, like two fangs kind of separating near the back of the helmet right now going down the middle. But I think we should update it and have it more uh, forward facing, starting full at the back and then whiskering out uh, near the front of the helmet. I think that's a, a cool and unique detail. Uh, for someone like the Panthers here. And thinking about their uniform shortcomings, in my opinion, uh, looking at the left photo here, um, the the TV numbers, the numbers that are on the shoulder pads uh, for the players, the top part of the shoulder pad, um, because of the way that the, the stripes are set for the Panthers, they're, they're kind of big and, and wonky, and it limits the size of the, of the stripes, and also you have the contrasting collar um, as well, and so it doesn't leave much real estate for those TV numbers. And so I think if they're going to be that small, just remove them all together. We've seen some teams do that already, uh, or just move them to the side. You already have the Panther logo on the helmet, uh, kind of redundant to have it on the side shoulder panel here as well for the jerseys. Maybe put the numbers there. But um, so there's that, just the TV numbers and the stripe wonkiness of the uniform that I think are, are shortcomings to improve upon. And so thinking about, I uh, have this helmet idea with changing the shell color. Uh, think about how that can cascade down to the uniform as a whole. I, I can't pass up an opportunity to create some custom numbers. So for my uniform set for the Panthers here, I created this, this cool uh, specific uniform uh, number set for the Panthers. So you see it in black here, then also how it can extend to that color palette we were just talking about. So you have the Carolina blue, black, and white, um, and how uh, they can play off of each other in different scenarios. Thinking about how this incorporates into the jersey itself, let's look at the tops here. We have the home, away, and alternate jersey styles. Using that custom number set, maintaining the uh, the colors that uh, we were talking about before. And I think you can go more simple on these uniforms for the Panthers. So some of the details to, to single out here. You have bigger TV numbers on the shoulders because there are no stripes. You have the alternate panther uh head logo on the on the shoulders as well so it's not the full panther with the with the background and stripes and other details it's just um, more so the face so you have that as a nice detail just to to give the the shoulder some pop here and then contrasting uh collar still i think that's still a good look for the panthers i think they can maintain that and um it's good to see the number set of the jerseys work with single digit like what we see on the left and then multiple digits on the right as well Let's dig into the home away and alternate uniform specifically. Um, again, this is a couple years back when, when Teddy Bridgewater, Bridgewater was the quarterback. And so um, didn't end up changing the, uh, the players for any of these. But um, thinking about if you have a, the home uniform with that beautiful Carolina blue, you can pair that with the black uh, pants. And then in terms of the stripes, uh, the only ones that appear here for the whole uniform are just be two single stripes. Uh, down the side of the pants as opposed to the really big tail one that's happening um, right now for the Panthers. So this is possibly how the home uniform could be put together. For the away uniform, you can go white top and then the blue pants. Same idea for the stripes happening, just contrasting stripes and uh, very nice and slim on the sides. And the last uniform would be the alternate one where you have the, the black and then um, solid numbers and uh, a slim trim uh, color around piping color um, around the uh, numerals on the actual jersey themselves. So that's what happened there. And then you have the, the white pants happening too. Here's my refresh recap for uh, possibly what the Carolina Panthers should do as a whole change as opposed to just to a, a singular alternate helmet, which we again started at the uh, beginning of the episode talking about. How can the Panthers update something that they're pretty traditional and, and solid right now, but I think to elevate it, you can simplify it and lean into those colors and get some custom uh, factors such as these jersey numbers um, put into play. And I think the, the whole fan base for, for Carolina would be uh, up in arms about this kind of stuff. Um, I think it's looking pretty good. 
quick recap about this. I'm excited that the Panthers have extended their uniform by adding a black alternate helmet. I think that uh, they could have paid a little bit closer detail to how this helmet will pair with the, the uniform as a whole. I think on its own, it looks good with the details here of the, the black and blue and just, you know, uh, holding to that. But when you pair it with the uniform that has uh, silver and white with it as well, it just doesn't jive. It doesn't, uh, you know, cohere uh, as a whole there. So um, we'll see what happens with uniform stuff down the line for the Panthers, if this means anything. Again, I kind of pointed to those, uh, ghost drop shadow numbers on the back of the helmet. I could be reading too much into it, but that's a um, that's a detail that I have not seen for the Panthers, so it's interesting. Uh, hopefully some hints for the future. My idea for the future would be for the team to lean into that beautiful Carolina blue. No other team uh, can or has done that uh, for the helmet show color, and I think they have the opportunity to do that with keeping the same uniform more or less up until this point with this alternate helmet. They've stayed true to the original design that they have, but I think they can, you know, blow the top off and just get, you know, custom and simple at the same time with uh, with the uniform approach. So I hope you like this episode. I had to get a quick one together around that new alternate helmet for the Carolina Panthers. Um, let me know what you think about it. Leave a, a comment either in this video feed or, uh, like I said, you can follow me on social as well at J7Grimes of what you think about it. Uh, the helmet, what do you think about my concept, uh, what you would like the team to do possibly better in terms of their visual aesthetic. Otherwise, end and end here, I'm excited about the Panthers, what they're going to be able to do. They got uh, some interesting player personnel stuff happening as well, so we'll see how that all pans out with the visual aesthetic. But um, check out me and more of my work at uh, jordangrimes.work. I have uh, a specialty in branding and logos and, and uniform sports design work. And so check out my projects there. You can check out my full Carolina Panthers project there with more detail shots and um, explanations as well. So um, check that and other work out. Please uh, like, subscribe, and all that other kind of stuff too. And uh, thanks for watching this upload. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.